How do you do, sir? Glad you dropped in. I've got that, uh, information you asked for. Hello. Best I give it to you now, while there's no line. Um, I need something more specific this time. A wagon full of moonshine. Well, you might just be in luck. I knew I picked the right feather to speak to. Oh. 
wonderful man. Wonderful. <laughs> you got my money? Uh, it's, it's for a very good cause. Uh, my name is Professor Andrew Bell III. Perhaps you've heard of me. <laughs> Can't say that I have. Oh, I'm an inventor. Uh, maybe you've read about me. <laughs> uh, I don't read much. Oh, oh, well, that's too bad. Oh, yes. <laughs> you got my money? <clears throat> oh, well, it, it is the most wonderful invention, friend. Oh, you, sir, have done a great All deed. All I've done is get some creep a lot of drink. <laughs> Creepers. Excellent. No nonsense. Now, you've helped me develop the most humane machine imaginable. A way to induce calmness to our most troubled souls. A way to end the barbarity of a public hanging. Oh, so, so humane. What are you talking about? The electric chair. What? I see. It's a chair full of electricity. It's quite fascinating. It calmly and peacefully dispatches the sinners uh, to face judgment. Yes, judgment. Yeah. Where is it? Well, uh, it's in my laboratory. The next thing I need is a, a demonstration, a public one. Huh. Uh, do you know the police chief? Hmm? As well as anyone. Oh, wonderful. Perhaps you can encourage him to let me demonstrate the chair. It will help bring this town into the next century. Yes, could, could you do that? Hmm? Boy. Excellent, excellent. Oh, this wonderful methanol. Welcome to our humble police house. <clears throat> Chief, I'm representing the inventor of a humane execution machine, an electric chair. And he, uh, he wants to demonstrate his invention here. Ah, I'm familiar with the man and his work. Tell you what, I'll give you a permit. But it's going to cost you $100 in fees. Okay. Well, the price is fair. Here you go. And here, sir, is your permit. Appending the usual formalities, of course, such as uh, finding a suitable candidate for humane dispatchment. I'll tell that to the professor. Good luck. Good evening, man. How are we today? Uh, I tell you, it ain't great. Evening, mister. Sell some real food, huh? Listen, you have to take this. Mm, that's real kind of you. I lost my money playing poker. Uh, okay, I know where a good game is. Oh, <laughs> 
friend. Hello, Professor... Professor... Andrew Bell III. That's it. So, the Chief says you can test out your machine, oh. pending the usual formalities. And what are they? Uh, finding a suitable, uh, subject. Ah, funny you should mention. And this fella here, he seems sturdy enough, and he's guilty as sin. Wilson J. McDaniels. Wanted for murder, bigamy, and immoral animal husbandry. What's that? The mind shudders. Here, find him for me and help me put him out of his misery. You coward! We gonna talk about what you done to my wife! You're a dead man! I don't quite know why I did that. Because barbarity is boring, you no? Know? It kept me amused some years. You must go, my friend, before the Jean de Marie arrive. Hey, you gonna do right by this fella's wife? You have done right by her. The little bird is free. Hmm. I am an artist, cowboy. I must do what I feel. Look, I have an exhibit at the gallery. You come, see what I mean. Sorted out soon, I promise. Hey, the whole saloon's overrun with rats. I'm losing business left and right. I need to get someone to get rid of them for me. I'll pay very well. I just need it done. All right, calm down. Let me see what I can do. Oh, thank God. Just be sure not to bang around the place too much. I'll wait out here. Thanks, mister. Take this. Ooh, you earned every cent. I killed worse.
collect our damn census tech. Here in this state for the federal government. You're an idiot. You're done! Thank you, stranger. These raiders are insane. <laughs> Take me to damn cork then! tried to stop it. I ain't wrong. It's you that's wrong. We was trying to live free. And you came along and laid waste. Take me in. Just take me to the jailhouse. You know, you ain't going to court. You ain't going to jail either. I'm taking you to a professor I know. What in hell are you talking about? You're a lucky man, mister. You get to be part of a great experiment. Shut up! Huh? You ain't gonna die needlessly, is what I mean. Nope. Your death's gonna be an uh, important step in the advancement of human knowledge. What the hell you say, mister? This professor, Andrew Bell III, I believe he said. He's a little odd, maybe harebrained, but I got no reason to doubt the quality of his work. What's this damn professor got to do with anything? Well, he wants to try this. New electricity chair on you to kill you. Humane. <clears throat> no. Yeah. Well, he's gonna strap you into this contraption and run a large electric current through your system. It's got something to do with moonshine. I don't quite know what. 
I guess that's why he's the professor and I'm the bounty catcher. Well, as I said, I can pass on his assurances that this is a most humane way to go. It'll be just like, well, like switching off a light. They wouldn't let you do this to me. They wouldn't. Oh, they would. And we got a permit and everything. You was in animal husbandry, am I right? Well, you ever seen lightning strike livestock, Mr. McDaniels? Now, I ain't ever seen the actual impact. I came across the pasture sometime after. The storm had just cleared and there was smoke in the air. The smell of burning hair. You know, there must have been a dozen head of cattle. Lying there, piled up, mangled. Sorry about that, McDaniels. You all right? <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, me too. Well, you'll be happy to know we ain't got far to go. Hold on tight now. <laughs> Professor will be real pleased to meet you. <gasps> no! Jesus. Come on! Don't be shy now. Let's go. Ah, bring him over here. here. I got him. You're wonderful. Just, just wonderful. Now, where's my money? Um, money? Yeah, for all the running around I've been doing. Oh, well, once they buy my humane electric ending facilitator, there'll be money enough for you, sir. Well, let's hope. All right, let's get our, our, um, our poor unfortunate ready for the demonstration. Oh, do come and watch. It'll be amazing. Come along. Come on, boy. Relax. What happened to you? I need medicine. Oh. 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 It was like a gunshot. Oh. Remember the one with the pink flowers? Tiny little bastard. Steer clear. Thanks, mister. I owe you my life. Some things you learn the hard way. Yeah. You can, you can say that again.
Something you boys don't know you're born. Hm. This isn't. <laughs> 